this is an inferior view of the skull right now. I have the mandible is still on so that you can see the mandibular fossa down there. Um, okay, so if you're looking at the mandible right there, this um, um, this spot right here, this is the part that's sitting into this mandibular fossa right there. So this is the um, mandibular condyle. And then this right here and right here, this is the mandibular fossa. Okay, so for the inferior view of the skull, this right now is the interior surface. This is the posterior surface. As you can see, the teeth are right there. So you can tell that this is the front. And then whenever you find this really large foramen, that's the foramen magnum, you will know that this is the occipital bone. So right here is the occipital bone. Aside from there, because if you remember that the bones, um, the bone that is attached um, from the front to your teeth, that's the maxilla bone. So right now here, back here, this is still the maxilla bone, and you can see the border where it ends. So here's the maxilla bone, and then below that, this is the um, this is the palatine bone, and then underneath that, this right now is the vomer bone. Okay, so that's the vomer. And um, of course, you had your cheekbone right there, so this is still the um, zygomatic bone. And then from here at the side for your temples, right here and right here, that's your temporal bone. And um, over here now, what you can see is this sphenoid bone. So it's really large, it's wing structured right here. So this whole thing, that is the um, sphenoid bone. So you can see it's, it's really at the bottom of the wing right here. So here's the bottom of the wing. You can find a number of foramina. Um, there is one, two, three right here, and then matching one, two, three on the other side. So starting from the medial side, you have the foramen lacerum, and then the foramen oval, and then the foramen spinosum right next to this spine of sphenoid right here, okay? So you can think L-O-S, L-O-S, okay? So foramen lacerum, most medial, and then foramen oval, and you can see that it's uh, most oval, and then you have the foramen uh, spinosum right next to this spine of sphenoid. So again, that was the sphenoid bone right here. Um, now, if we go back to the temporal bone right next to that, um, you have this right here, which is the um, which is underneath and behind your ears, so that is the mastoid process. And then here, this thing that's sticking out from the side, this thing, this is the uh, styloid process. So mastoid process and then styloid process. And um, if you look at the occipital bone here, you can see this uh, foramen magnum. And so I want to um, I want you to look a little bit more anterior to that. So if you look at this spot right here, you can see this foramen. It kind of looks like a heart right there. Okay, so this right here, this is the jugular foramen. Okay, so foramen magnum, jugular foramen right there next to this styloid process. So that's the foramen, uh, jugular foramen. And then on top of it right here, this is the carotid canal. Okay, so you can see that I can't actually poke through it. So it's not, um, it doesn't go through to the other side. It's going to look slightly different um, from the internal view of the skull. Um, and um, also this is the posterior nasal spine right here in the palatine bone, so that's the posterior nasal spine. Um, okay, so uh, to, to recap, this was the maxilla bone right here. Below that, this is the palatine bone, and then this was the vomer. And then underneath that, you have this sphenoid bone right here that looks like wings, so that's the sphenoid bone. Right here, you had the temporal bone, and then, oh, I'm sorry, the zygomatic bone, and then over here was the temporal bone, okay? The temporal bone has this mastoid process, and then the sticking out is the styloid process. And um, right next to that, you can see this heart-shaped foramen right here, which is the jugular foramen. And then right on top of it, this is the carotid canal, okay? And if you're looking at the occipital bone right here, you have this real, really large uh, foramen magnum. And then right next to it, these are the occipital condyles. Okay, so occipital condyles. And I believe that should be it.